You'll have to excuse the cluttered desk here. But uh, Gekio, the hardware database genius that he is, has discovered uh, something that I've been working on, and he's found the key to that. Um, I, I, I suppose I've been putting in the work, but I don't know exactly what I'm trying to do, so I've been struggling with it. But anyway, this is what we need to pay attention to, pin 39A21. And then if we look at the MBC30 pinout, we want pin 13RA21. But uh, what we're going to do, excuse me while I get that in my tripod there. Um, oh, I call it a tripod, but it's not. What we're going to do, I'm going to take this flash cart that I have here that is currently running Pokemon Crystal Clear. And come on. As you can see, on 2.0 beta, I don't even have a save game, so I'm not going to lose any progress if I destroy this cart. I will be a little bit disappointed, and quite frankly, I was not prepared for this video, because this is not the cart that I want to mess up, on account of actually springing for custom sticker, but whatever. It's what I have, and it's what I'll lose the least amount of progress on if I mess up, so it's what we're using. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this 2 megabyte uh, flash chip with a 4 megabyte flash chip and uh, see if we can't get that going. I know all the other pins are connected up except for um, RA21 and obviously this one that you have to, the wires run for, but... I think we can work around that. I think I can solder on that little chip or that little wire. Okay. Not perfect. Good enough. So I'm going to desolder this so that I could just reuse the wire. This cart was actually built by Jay Rodrigo for me. I requested it, he built it, and uh, I might not reuse that wire because I fucked up the insulation on the end, but whatever. Okay. Set that off to the side so I don't completely destroy it. I think I need it, but just in case, there's a little bit of insulation from my desk. Now I'm going to use the heat gun to remove this chip here. I I should probably remove the uh, adapter PCB2 and resolder that down, but I think it's, I think it's pretty good. What is going on here? Stop that. I am going to touch up all those joints, though. Based on how hot this plate got which is not hot at all. I don't think I needed it. But rather safe than sorry. All right, I'm gonna save that. That's still nice and hot. Oh.
means my flux is going to instantly melt. But whatever, it'll still work fine. Just be more annoying to deal with. So what I'm doing right now, I just want to make sure there are no shorts and that every pin is still connected because I did hit it with the heat gun. I'm going to turn this light on so I can see a little bit better. I probably don't need to do this, but I'd like to uh, reduce the amount of work that I might have to go back and do. And before, oh no, too late. There's already flux all over it. Never mind. I hate cleaning up flux from my uh, silicone mat. All right. So now I need a 32 megabit chip. I'm going to put my 16 megabit chip in there. Unfortunately, they don't quite fit right because these are uh, TSOP 40, whereas the two megabyte ones are TSOP 48. The difference being um, the two megabyte chips have uh, Two unconnected pins in every corner, whereas, so two pins in every corner, which means four pins on each side, which means eight pins total that just don't do anything. Uh, these chips have every pin connect, come on, whatever, I'm sure it will work out. Get to look deep within my disgusting flux container as I solder this. Oh, shoot. Moved. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering. Just because my face is close to this board. I'm not going to spook it. Damn it, why? I'm having such a hard time with this. I think that's crooked too. Well, 
Well, this side looks good. Yeah. No, I think that's good. Oof, that is a mess though. Okay, so now I need to solder up two wires. The first one needs to go back to where it was. Which I lied, I am totally... No, I'm not going to reuse it. I'm going to make another one. Because... I'm going to have two wires. Might as well have them match. So I'm just using a 30 gauge Kynar. Single core, but I think that's the only kind that comes in. Or the only style. And I should have, of course, it is only now just occurring to me, so it's a little bit too late. I should have flashed that chip before I even soldered it. That is the second time I have... Oh, no! It's just a hair too short. Balls. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. If I had flashed this chip before I soldered it, I could have, conceivably, tested it without having to wait for me to flash a chip or, you know, to see, can it read the ROM but not flash the ROM, something like that. But per Gekyo, I should be able to both flash and play. There we go. Let me just smack my camera with my soldering iron. I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Now I need <clears throat> to run a bodge wire from, what was it, pin 39, which is the second from the end on that side, to pin 13 on the MBC30 cart, which is what I showed you right at the beginning of the video. So I can run that underneath, that would probably be better. Realistically, what I should do, yeah, I'm going to pause this video for a little bit and go clean up all this flux. I will be back in a jiff. Alright, so you'll have to excuse me. I cleaned up a little and then I ended up uh, trying to flash this cart just, just to double check that everything was working. Um, and then I noticed that some of these joints on this side of the SRAM and then on the MBC3 and various other surface mount components. Looked a little bit crusty, so I ended up going over the whole board with uh, some more flux and some more solder uh, just to make sure that everything was everything was good and happy. What's, what's the button? Is it select? Yeah, it's already down. But I did flash this thing. It does support a 2 megabyte ROM just fine. I have Crystal Kaizo on there right now because that's just what I had in my uh, flasher. But... We're not going to settle for two megabytes. We want the full four. Um, 
I did check and yeah, I did end up soldering that one on a little bit crooked, but it's straight enough that there are no shorts and obviously the cart works because I just flashed a two megabyte ROM and it boots just fine. So yeah, we're not going to worry about it. All right. So I need to solder a wire from there, snake it up and around and then connect it up to pin 13 on the NBC chip which is about there ish so I need to make this wire about that long and then after this we should be good to test it with a four megabyte ROM. First, I need to solder this thing down. I'm trying to think of which way is the easiest way to do this. And tweezers that close automatically would be a hell of a lot easier. But I don't have any of those. That is not what we want. Ah, hold the cap off. It would probably be easier to look up which pin this flash chip connects to on this adapter and then solder straight to that. Straight to the adapter that is. But let's see if I can get this working. Looks pretty darn good to me. I just need to fold that and hope it's hope it doesn't do that. Yeah. This is gonna be a struggle in futility. That looks a lot better. Uh, might be shorting. Of course, that's irrelevant. Well, I got it soldered down, but now there's a nice big old blob.
There we go. This is gonna work, I swear. Nice. I think I got it this time. Nope, it shorted. Dang it. I'm going to have to clean this stupid thing up again with all this flux, but oh well. this breaks off we'll see another way to do this or I'll try another way to do this looks good let me check and see if it's shorted because it might be can't tell right there so you can see as well that works I'm going to test that pin, that pin, it's not shorted, and that pin, let's do it this way, that pin, that pin, it's not shorted, excellent. Might not even be able to clean this up. Okay, okay, good so far. Did I make this too short? Because I'm going to be very sad if I did. No, I don't think I did. Now we need to solder it to pin 13, which is the fourth from the top on this side here. Ooh, what's that? Nice and solid. Still don't like that, but I think that's the best. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> <sighs> Such is life. I should have said nothing and I should have not touched it.
There we go. That looks beautiful. Check for shorts one more time. Well, I throw my probes everywhere. Excellent. I'll put that probe right there. So pin 40 is good. Pin 39 is excellent. Pin 38 is also good. Now that was a lot easier putting my probe on the other side. All right. Let's uh let's flash this and try it out, huh? So I have no idea if this is going to work with my flasher here. But uh yeah, let's try it out, huh? Can be color, detected as crystal, that's good. Let's try Donkey Kong Country. So it says it's flashing. I'm gonna turn off the iron in the meantime. We don't need that on anymore. It says erasing flash. See it's still blinking. You guys get to watch it flash in real time while I scroll through Discord. This doesn't work, I'll have to try out a different flasher. Oh, it's writing. The fact that it's still blinking is a good sign. Because usually, uh, when I tried this on my other carts, the MBC3... Ah, there it goes. Yep. Probably got past the 2 megabyte mark and locked up. So if I plug this into a Game Boy right now, it should pass a logo check, but I don't think this ROM is going to actually boot. Yeah, there's the logo check. Oh, hello. Maybe I just uh, killed it too fast. Goodness, wouldn't that be embarrassing? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's not working. I'm going to try flashing it again, though, because that's... The fuck? Anyway, because that's a lot further than uh, I've ever gotten before. Um, I'll... Uh... Ah, no, we'll do this in... Uh... Real time again. Fuck it. Y'all can fast forward if you don't like it. Uh, hello? Color, yes. BC3. Flash me is what I wanted. Let's try. On tape.
You hear that sound? That's the sound of me being impatient and scrolling through Discord. No, wait, that's the sound of anticipation. I'm sorry. They sound so similar, it's hard to tell sometimes. It's flashing. I wonder if it's feasible to have a uh, progress bar on this thing. I mean, there's plenty of space. You could even have it going up. No, that's probably not how this screen works. But if it is, you know, just move the text over just a hair and then have it going up and down. I think going across the bottom would be better. Let's see, it froze again. Hmm. Again, it could just be this writer that doesn't support it. I don't think anyone has tried a uh, 4 megabyte MBC3 flash, MBC30 flash cart before. I think it's getting absurdly far because usually they just lock up. This isn't locked up. I mean, it's not right, but not completely fucked either. And clearly there's supposed to be something on the screen. Hell, it might even work better with the MBC5 option. Well, let's try that. really don't think there's any difference between the two options. Pretty sure they switch banks the same way. I just don't know that the MBC3 option will work past two megabytes. Instead of letting this flash, just sitting here watching it again, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Uh, if this doesn't... fuck. <laughs> if this doesn't work, um, I'm going to try another flasher, but I'll report back in just a second when I got this. Okie doke. Alright, so when we left off I was trying to get this thing flashed and I think I've discovered something. Um, before we continue though, I just want to mention this because I don't think I mentioned it earlier and I keep forgetting. Um, of course I can't get the lighting right on this. This chip is not an AM29FO32B. This is an MBM-FO33C no, MBM29FO33C. Uh, this is got the same exact pinout as the AM29FO32 chip. Um, slightly different flash protocol, but like I said, same pinout, same package, um, and same size. So it's also a 4 megabyte chip. Uh, I did go ahead and get this flashed. I wasn't having any luck with my Sani cart reader. And then my, uh, I recompiled the software for the GBX cart reader and tried flashing it with that, and that seemed to be locking up at around 70% or so. Uh, but I have some beta firmware for the uh, uh, original cart flasher that I built a few days ago from HDR, and I was finally able to get it flashed with this, and... I got this ROM, this isn't a game, this is a testing ROM, I got this from Shock Slayer. He sent this to me so we can test it out, and uh, let me show you what it does. So this just loops through constantly, let me turn this light off, and you can see 
it's running a test on every few banks there, I guess. I, I'm not 100% sure how the bank switching itself works or how this app works. But basically, it is running a check on all of the memory here. And the fact that it can read past the halfway point means exactly that this works. That this MBC30 chip will support 4 megabyte ROM. Um, this F right here means that it's not reading that little memory block. I don't know what that is. And because it's, I don't know, about 70% of the way through this block, I'm guessing that's why my other two flashers were failing. They were getting to this bank right here, this block, and they were having trouble flashing, so they were locking up. I believe this is just because of my flash chip, so I'm thinking if I swap out that chip, I shouldn't have any more issues. Um, but this pretty much confirms what we've been trying to get working for the last few months now, that the MBC30 carts will support 4 megabyte ROM. And uh, I don't know, I'm just super happy because I have the first working prototype, mostly working prototype. Um, I'm going to stop filming now, get this video compiled, start uploading it, but I am going to try and swap this chip out and see if I can't get it, uh, get one that doesn't have any Fs. And uh, Jay Rodrigo, if you do watch my videos, I don't know, or if you end up at least watching this one, if you could add the pinout for the A21 address, throw a soldering pad right there. That would be perfect, like how the reset is down here for an A21 there, because I'm 90% sure this pin doesn't go to anywhere on the ROM. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to double check that. I haven't played around with the MBC30 carts much at all, but I know on the MBC3 carts they aren't, because uh, that pin doesn't work that way. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I am unbelievably stoked about this working and uh, even though there is zero software support for it the hardware supports there so now the software support can come thanks for watching guys have a good night all right thought i was done but i wasn't happy with that uh with where we left things with that 1f so i ended up i marked that chip and pulled it off and it's stuck to my mat but it's it's right there uh, I soldered on a new one I have this one pre-flashed so it should work um, but before I solder on the A21 and the other cable let's see what it does again I haven't plugged this card in oh I guess we don't need that other cable I guess it is connected already well that's hella convenient, uh, but we also don't have the F, so there we go. Uh, if I want to reflash this, of course, I'm going to have to solder that other cable. I've been trying to avoid putting that down because that's still wet from cleaning it, but let's try it out. So number four... Gonna use that via. Yeah, it's already plugged in. Well, that's. I made this way more difficult than it needed to be. Shit, that was out of focus. My bad. But yeah, we don't even need that other cable. I mean, we need the first one to be able to reflash this while it's plugged in. But well, sh shit. There we go. I guess. Um, go ahead and get that soldered back down. And we'll add a battery. And we'll call it a day. And I'll finally go do those chores that I've been putting off. idea that that was already connected on these MBC30 carts. Oh, forgetting something obvious here. I 
Am I supposed to save games without a, uh... Battery. There's that. There's that. And there we have it. Just, uh... Just want to see all those... Squares again with no Fs. How beautiful is that? I made I, I made it so much worse by trying to solder that stupid fucking cable. I should have checked it beforehand. But there we go. Ta-da!